right now I'm pretending to vlog for these YouTube camera people. Look. Good to be back in New York City. Scared the shit out of you, man. Morning, Sam Gursky. Good morning. How you I doing? Was just uh, texting me to say what's up. Yeah. Welcome I'm, back to New York City, Casey. I, <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back to New York City. Good to see you. Thank you for scaring me. Maybe we can figure it out. Later, dude. Yeah, I'll see you later. Have you ridden this thing? Yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. Later, Tomo. Last week I did a video called Casey's Guide to Filmmaking or Vlogging or something like that. People seem to really like it. I want to continue with that vein today and talk about vlogging cameras. Let me start by saying this. Now for the longest time, vlogging was done like this. You'd have a point and shoot like this and you hold it out and you talk into it like that. I used to vlog like that. Ben Brown, Fun For Louie, they really like, those guys are amazing with what they do, maybe still do, with their point and shoots. And when I started vlogging, I aspired to be like them in using my point and shoot like this. Then I had some sort of, maybe call it an epiphany? It was an accident, but I remember exactly the vlog that it happened in. I was bringing my big SLR with a proper microphone on it to go visit Candace to do a shoot with her, and I had it in my hand on a gorilla pod, and I was like, let me just try talking into this. And that was the first time ever. This is the first time a vlogger used a setup like this. And now I see a lot of vloggers do, using a setup like this, that is like some version of an SLR, on this curvy gorilla pod using a proper microphone and I think it's awesome because the quality is so much better that the picture is so much better but I just want to be clear about one thing from now until the dawn of time anyone you see using a rig like this know that I did it first today I want to talk about what could potentially be the future of vlogging cameras and that's what's in this box so this is kind of like an unboxing video it's not going to be like a full review because I need some time to get used to this, but I'm psyched to check it out and share it first here. This looks like a case for a tiny little guitar. Whoa. It's not, it's not broken. I got to go back on. Uh, I didn't break it, but I am going to have to spend some time with this and read the manual and figure out how to actually use it before, which I'm looking forward to doing. It looks pretty rad. I should also say that this is not in any way an endorsement of this thing. This is also not a sponsored post or branded content or any of those buzzy like ad words. I'm typically very skeptical of new technology, especially when it's this crazy, but I'm psyched to check this thing out. I know today is an unboxing vlog and not a regular vlog, but I totally forgot I'm doing this big interview with all these YouTube folks behind me. That's a microphone, camera guys, interview. This is security over here. All right, we're rolling. Casey and asked that. Ready? Yeah. Do you need me to clap or anything? Yeah, can you go ahead and clap one time? Okay, we just wrapped. We just wrapped the interview. How did it go? Great. Amazing. <laughs> Can I take a picture? Are you taking a picture? Yeah, but then I gotta kick you guys out of here because I gotta finish my unboxing vlog today. I'm trying here, it's fully charged. I've been trying to get this thing running for quite a while now, haven't had luck yet. In order to use the app, which is essential to use the camera, you have to first register, and right now like it won't let me register. I really wish there was a way to use this without having to register with whatever their social network is. That's frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna get back to trying to figure 
This is why I hate hardware that requires an app to run it. I have it on now. Okay, I really like this. If you hold your finger down and then you move this around, you can get it to fix on whatever you want. There's the camera. Hey, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot on this now. Okay, this thing is incredible. It's amazing. This is next level and this is the future. What this is not, I don't see this yet as like the end all be all vlogging camera, which is what I really hope for. All the struggles that I have with it, including my freak out when I was trying to, all of those are overcomable because I do that every time I get something new. I'm sure that I'll get really good at this. Um, and I'm gonna continue to use it. A few years ago, a steady cam was this huge thing you had to attach to your body. And now I have like two three axis gimbals. That's one right there. They're incredible for steady camera shots. And now this, like that is insane. <sighs> All right, very, very impressive piece of hardware. This looks more like the future of cameras than anything else I've ever worked with. Um, and I look forward to really getting into it. All right, I gotta get out of here. Really gets me excited for where camera technology is headed, especially camera technology that you can hold in one hand that's made for vlogging. So, I'm gonna play with that thing a lot more this week and I'll give like a proper review once I've had some time to really get to know it. Hi, I'm Spiros and you should follow me on BM because I live in Crete, an island on Greece and you should follow me if you want to see beautiful places here in Crete.